generic greetings and welcome back once again to power wash simulator today's beverage is an exceptionally bitter grapefruit juice good grief i do enjoy drinking grapefruit juice but that is really bitter anyway i digress welcome back to power wash simulator where in the previous episode we started and then finished the fire truck mission so that was pretty enjoyable i actually quite like that uh, over some of the other ones like that thing there but uh, overall yeah pretty happy with that now as of the time of recording there has been nothing added to the campaign mode however it is due out any day now in fact i would wager that by the time you see this video the patch has been dropped and there is more stuff added to the career mode but i didn't want to stop the series for the sake of one or two days so instead we're going to look at the specials and we're going to clean the mars rover there's only one special in the game Game at this stage but I'm guessing more will be added but uh, yeah let's have a look at this one so this is the Mars rover now we will start the job here it says time to put the water on Mars to good use as the rover needs a clean we'll start the job and I have no idea what we get in terms of our power washer our equipment etc because this is not part of the campaign so it looks like we've got uh, standard nozzles and what can we do? Can we change this? Uh, no, we've got the Prime Vista 1500 and we can go between the different nozzles and also... Uh, oh, no cleaner as well. So, interesting. So, this is the Mars rover and... <laughs> yep, we're, we're on Mars apparently. And we'll have a look around it. So, it's got these six wheels, although that seems to have been clamped by the council. Uh, is that legitimately how it, how it is? Uh... <laughs> I have no idea. And it seems to be covered in green mildew, which I can't imagine you'd get that on Mars, although... Oh! There's the drone that sort of buzzes around it. Pretty cool. But yeah, uh, we've also got like a lot of a lot of muck here. So I'm going to switch over to the close-in nozzle with the 15 degree spray because that is my favourite. And then we're going to start cleaning. This is the thermoelectric generator on the back there, which I'm assuming spraying this with water would not go down well with all of the NASA scientists that have created this and then the people that obviously have built the damn thing. But there you go. That is a thermoelectric generator. I was wondering what what is that uh, what what is that shadow all about with uh, something flying around but yeah it is actually the uh, the little drone thing there can we can we shoot it out the sky is the is the question and well to be fair it would be rude of me not to try and answer that so can i run after it no it doesn't look like ah oh, you can't hit it that's a shame mark against the game there literally unplayable right okay back over to the rtg is it an rtg uh either way get it cleaned so i'm going to jump on top of it which i'm assuming a piece of equipment like this is obviously built for humans to stand all over it and do that but uh no maybe not that is now cleaned uh should we start actually do we start at the top and work our way down it seems to be reasonable this is an antenna as well i have no idea what what parts there is in this in this mode but whatever we'll just clean clean away yeah, as I said at the start of the video, the patch is due out any any day now as of the time of recording. But by the time you see this, it'll almost certainly have been released. And I think there's an RV in that. There's also a det more detailed cleaning mode. So when we go into uh, the tablet, uh, I think you can select the details and it'll show you what, what, uh, what it means. So yeah, lots of, lots of improvements and some nice stuff added. I don't know exactly what else has been added in that patch, but... That's it. Certainly looking forward to it, and it will be out by the time you, by the time you see this, I believe. If all goes to plan, anyway. That was, what was announced. That's some suspension there. Wow. Oh. There's some sensors. I think we'll clean this thing. That's a mast. Even the little lens there, we have to clean on the front. And you can see, there's loads of little bits we're getting. I wonder if there's going to be any more specials added. Or if there's any more challenge modes being added. So you only use a certain amount of water. Things like that. Do I have to go up here? Yeah. Get that mast. And then this at the front. I'm assuming this thing has been built with dust retention in mind. That looks like it's rust, but it's not. It's just part of the 
full of it. That's a, what is it? A rock analyzer and a drill. Okay. Fairly cool. Oh, I've just realized Mars gravity as well. <laughs> so it's a lot floatier. See, little details like that really do make, make things. Um, what else have we got? X-ray spectrometer, drill, rock analyzer, turret, and then the arm. Oh yeah, all that's cost is one one section. Okay. I'm clean under that. Go crouch. And under that, there we are. And then back to back to this. It's probably not gonna be an overly long map. This. A long mission, should I say. But interesting nonetheless. And it's curious that they've got this in. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I wonder how much they just they have these assets already for, for whatever reason. And they go, you know what? Just 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 you know, shove it through the power wash uh, <laughs> program to make it dirty or whatever it is. I don't know if they've I don't know if they I assume they make it put all the put all the dirt on manually, but yeah. It feels like that because it's it's just too random to be. It feels like really random thing to have uh, in the game, and I'm guessing there'll also be like a an idea to be able to import things and then it automatically add the dirt on because that would save a lot of time for them. I mean, you know, mods would be a lot easier as well. You just import your own stuff. Um, difficult getting some of the some of the dirt on this. Might have to. Oh, there's the body done. Yeah, so getting the dirt on that is quite difficult. Which I knew it was probably going to be difficult on this one. I don't know. We're going to get the dirt on that. Hmm. Just get the hub first on the back. Get the thick of it off. Is that tyre says it's dirty, but I don't know. Like, how am I going to get the rest of get the rest of it done? Because it's in. It's like it's in there. Suspension is nowhere near done. Hmm. I think I'm going to be coming back to that tyre. Let's go back to the front here. Hazard cameras. That's a drill bit. By the look of it. Oh, all the suspensions class is one, so it's a lot easier to clean them. One eighty three percent. Just can't imagine it'd be too difficult. There's the suspension. And some of the wheel. Bubs. Just get in here. Oh, good grief, that is one dirty tyre. And... That's a lot of stuff that I haven't cleaned. Okay, let's... Quickly double check then. Yeah, that tyre definitely needs more cleaning somehow. There we go, that's good. What haven't I cleaned then? All these sensors on the top. The look of it. I'm just give a quick once over. Because it's so detailed, it's very difficult to get every bit. Body mounted sensor. Be any of these. Just have to hit it from different angles. So hopefully, you'll get it. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this wheel hubs and hatch. Wheel hubs. Good grief. <laughs> Some lens flare.
Hmm. Go on, sir. Yes, I guess I have to get the wheel hub in there. <laughs> right. What I'll do then is switch to the spiralizer 5 million. Inside that. That's a clamp I'm hitting. There we go. There's the wheel hub. And hatch. What hatch? Hmm. The fact that I can run around here is curious. Let's have a look to see if we can find a hatch. Ah uh -huh. ha! Right. Okay, so we've got a green gnome <laughs> and a hatch made of metal. Curious. Is this a reference to something? I think it's a pyramid. Is this a reference to, like, say, Total Recall or... Insert any other film set on Mars here. And or TV series and or book. Let us know in the comments if that is the case. The fact that it glows so much is... Curious. You can't even look at it from certain most angles. Right. <laughs> Wouldn't have known about that unless it was uh, unless it was from the... From, you know, the other... Other um, tablet thing. The other tablet screen. And there you go. Time to put the water on Mars to good use as the rover needs to clean. There you go. That is cleaned. That's a special. The only special. But it's quite good. Lots of detail on it. Lots of detail. All of it clean now. And like the little hatch thing. That was pretty good. Okay. Well, we're going to leave it there for a power wash simulator. Obviously, shorter video than uh, perhaps usual. But at the time of recording, as I said, this uh, hasn't. there's nothing else being added. But almost certainly... It has been by the time you watch this, so there's more stuff to do, RVs and other things. So next episode, we will have a look at continuing on and cleaning that. Eventually, though, there will be a point where we will be sort of caught up with everything the game has to offer and we'll be waiting for extra drops, but we will get back to that when we can. Either way, next episode, we'll look at hopefully what is now out and what it has to offer. Either way, as well, <laughs> hope you have enjoyed this little look at the specials in the game and cleaning the Mars rover and some strange alien hatch. <laughs> as always... Thanks so much for watching. Take care and generic partings.